Today, we are setting up. for our first sweatshirt painting. But I think video setting up and trying to make it, you know, viewable is important. That was very close, by the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so we're paint, we. He is painting this sweatshirt. His own sweatshirt. What's the plan so far? Do you have a plan? Give us a little outline of what you're hoping to create. So I'm inspired by Rothko, his way of painting on um, how he paints. And so I'm going to use that technique um, and incorporate, mix it with my style. So I'll use that as a background, and then um, I will add some beautiful things. Kind of similar to what you did with this t-shirt up here, right? Yes, that one. That was the first painted clothing I did. That was just a test. So, um, now this is going to be more... Legit? Legitimately done. After he does this video, we're planning to do a little YouTube video of us painting our own sweatshirts and testing to see if the fabric medium will wash off because we know that a lot of people ask Felix, oh, doesn't the paint wash off in the washer? So we thought, why not do a little test on video to see if it will wash off. To keep it stable, I have to tape the white reflects onto the ceiling to create a nice brighter area. I want my background to be bright. Lots of cords. One day there will be a fashion show, and this is going to be the trend. guys the finished piece we are now off to find plain sweatshirts because tonight is Friday and we're gonna have a date night and for our date night we're gonna go buy some sweatshirts after that we're gonna the goal of this video is to test if it will wash out of the sweatshirt so let's go <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we have just arrived at Target. Let's go in. There's a couple options. There's this light blue one and the white. Guys, after lots of searching, I think we have found the hoodies. Got them. Now let's go prep them. So we have our sweatshirts all set up. Most. This is hers, this is his. And I'm just setting up the lights here. And 
and then we will mix our paint and create something really fun. So, I am thinking to do something like I saw on Pinterest. Okay, Pinterest. I saw that they have um, the lily pads and I really like it. So I'm planning to do the flowers with the lily pads. I want to do like... <laughs> I want to do like the pink flowers. Like so maybe do like purplish pink and girl stuff. And have like maybe some little flowers on the sleeves. I'm really into like the sleeve thing lately. And Felix, what are you gonna do? Oh man, I had an idea. I forgot. It just flew out of my head. Um... Starry night sky. Aurora. I forgot. What? It, it, it will come to me. It will come to me. I had an idea. It just. I. I'm, I guess I'm focused on setting it up, but. I'll let you know. Okay. Anyways, I'm kind of nervous because I don't paint all the time. In fact, I rarely ever paint. So we will see how this turns out. But I have a good teacher here with me. So I'm sure he'll help me. Yes, indeed. Well, be a lot of fun. we will see you soon. All right, so what I got here is a uh, fabric medium and I'm gonna put uh, two parts to one with acrylics and so I'm gonna just you know just kind of guess try to even it out you know oops there you go and I'm gonna put on those later but let's mix these up first let's just mix these Just mix it with your acrylics. I mixed my shades first, the shades that I w want them, you know, and then I added the fabric medium to my paint. Um, and now I'm mixing, make sure it's nicely mixed. Okay, that's good. And not to bring too much color, I use paper towels and let's mix our blue. And it's like, this is like, it acts like a uh, glue, this fabric medium. Even if you use acrylics just by itself, um, they will actually stay on pretty good. Um, but adding fabric medium, it makes it even stronger. There you go. And I will do the same for all these. So we let them dry for about two days. And so now that it's fully dry, we're going to throw it in the wash and we're going to put it on uh, delicate uh, and cold. throw it. Throw it? Yeah. Throw it in the wash and, um, and put it on cold, right? Also, I actually thought about this. Just a second. 
told you guys this was gonna be a, experiment, so this is, this, a science channel. This is the part where, this was my first painted uh, uh, t-shirt that I did, but I didn't use fabric medium, I just used acrylics. Now, I didn't wear it that much, I only probably wore it for the photos, um, but it's a little bit stiff, yeah, but is. this is without fabric medium, and we're gonna actually throw this in there as well, and test it and see how this will turn out as well and just compare the two and see oh, what happens. finished so now we, we actually decided to put it in to put it in the dryer so let's put it in the dryer this is the one that did that didn't have the fabric medium it looks like it is holding pretty good what about those right there that's the grass effects okay. so it looks like it's good but let's see with the okay. dryer. I mean you can hand dry it and it'll be safe but um, so far um, do you think we should put it in the dryer? Because what we're going to do is a delicate cycle. Yeah, I mean, as long as it's not hot. Okay. Do you think hot? I don't think it's hot. We can check once it's Maybe warm. But, okay, well, it looks good. This one looks good. Let's see the sweatshirts. These should be better because they're, they should hold better because they have fabric medium in them. But, um... What do you think? I think... I think it looks pretty good nice. I actually think it looks pretty cool nice yeah that's I don't see any paint coming out okay it looks good on this one put it in there okay I like it it's nice and flexible it became a little flexible which is nice really maybe because oh, yeah. it's maybe because it's wet uh-huh but let's just put it in the dryer and see what happens this is yours wow yours became even more flexible, that's cool. So, um, this is yours. Let's have a look. Let's investigate. So I don't see any chips, anything. Looks like it's been... No chips. No chips, nothing. No chips and salsa. It looks l like the original. Cool. All right. So there you cool. have it. Now let's dry them up. Let's dry them up. We're gonna do... If you wanna be super safe, you don't. you can air dry it, like I said. But we're gonna go a little bit riskier and see what happens. I'm risking it. Delicate. 28. Low. Yes. At the low. Normal. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're starting. Start. So they're a little bit wet, but just a little bit, not much. Like damp? Damp, yeah, just okay. a little bit. So uh, what I'm, I'm gonna do is actually, I could let it run, but they're just barely, I mean, it's, ooh, what's this? Oh, nice. An egg. An egg. We use these, um, you know, it helps dry it out. But anyway, here it is, looks good. I like how it looks so far. So I'm gonna hang it up in the hanger, and we're gonna just, air dried the you know the rest of it but it's pretty dry but just for the safety reasons and then wow it's actually nice what do you mean it's actually like it's it's more flexible soft yeah Softer. oh yeah it's not stiff it's not stiff so let's um this one's almost dry as well but i'm gonna hang it here's and the t-shirt here's the t-shirt surprisingly it looks pretty good. It's a little stiff, stiff still. Yeah, it's a little stiff still. So you would say that's the difference between the fabric medium and not? Yeah, it, it also depends on how much paint you put on. Um, you know, how thick you put it on. 
this one I think I put it on a little bit thicker but it's it's gotten a little bit flexible but um, but you could see right here actually just maybe a little bit you could see if I'm really rough with it you could see that it's um, you know kind of cracking right that is because it's without fabric medium right mm -hmm. you know look you know here so I mean I'm really stretching it but um, if you're careful with it it should be f you know it looks fine but maybe after like like 10 uses of this shirt you know thrown in the cycle it um, maybe it will start to crack a little bit here they are we got them up there and we're gonna let them dry there's our little collection of well Felix's collection <laughs> and we will keep you posted all right guys here it is this is the dry sweatshirts we washed them even put them in the dryer too so um uh, usually we would recommend to air dry but we just wanted to test it out to see what happens and they turn out great this is with the fabric medium and um, no damages, nothing to the paint, and it worked really nice. I think it actually got a little softer too. Yeah, so a little more flexible. Um, and what about the shirt? And the shirt, this is without fabric medium. I could already tell that it faded a little bit. Maybe not that much, maybe a little bit, you could see right there. But um, it's a still a little stiff, but um, it's still, I mean, it's still not bad, it worked. Um, but definitely use a fabric medium. definitely for the yeah for the to get nice safe results fabric medium for sure all right guys so this is it we have had a lot of fun doing this video I hope you guys enjoyed it please be sure to like and subscribe if you find this video uh, awesome and helpful we are planning to do more of these kind of like you know experimental uh, arts and crafts kind of videos every now and then um, but stay tuned for next week's tutorial and uh, thank you for being here take care and god bless Woo!